This is the Orion crew station, where the crew will be when they fly the vehicle. As you can see, the commander seat is on the left, the pilot seat is on the right. Compared to the space shuttle, which had over 1,200 switches, controls, and circuit breakers, Artemis astronauts will have much less, only about 63. Inside, the crew of four can live and work for up to 21 days at a time, which is several days longer than the previous crewed Apollo missions to the moon. The interior is about 30% larger than those Apollo-era capsules to give more crew living and working space. Everything crew needs is packed right under the floor, thanks to the Orion stowage system. Under these panels is space for everything ranging from food, clothing, sleeping bags, to science and camera equipment, and even the tools necessary to perform repairs if required. On the upper part of the crew compartment, or what we call the overhead, is the docking compartment, a crucial component to future exploration. It allows crews to dock the Orion capsule to Gateway, NASA's next generation lunar outpost. Once they dock, crews will have the ability to board the lunar landers also attached to the Gateway and then head down to the surface of the moon. Through these windows, the four crew members will have amazing front row seats of their journey to and from the moon. Do you remember Apollo 8 and Bill Anders' famous photo of Earthrise as they came around the moon and saw it for the first time? Imagine being one of those first crew members on Orion having their own modern day Earthrise and knowing they are traveling farther from Earth than humans have ever traveled before. Thanks to thousands of people from across the country and around the world who have helped with the research, design, construction, testing, and more testing. My fellow astronauts and I know that whoever gets selected for future Artemis missions, they're gonna have the journey of a lifetime on board the spectacular vehicle we call Orion. Subscribe for more space. space.